This is an air softer. He just got his surplus woodland BDU, got himself a KWA, M for replica. With 300 BBs in his high capacity magazine, he is the king of the game. At least that is what he thinks. This is a Reen Actor Air Softer. The only non-genuine item here, is his replica. He carries tons of gear that would save his life in real battlefield. Pretty useless in a 6mm warfare though. However, he is the king of the game. But today's story is about neither. Welcome to another SDTV Review Division production, my friends, and today we have a special treat for you, a replica of a... <laughs> a replica of a Mossy Nagat battle rifle. For all you fans of M4s and AKs and G36s, a little history lessons for you. Uh, what this replica is all about, I think. Yes. The Moser Nagant, also known as Vintovka Mosina, is a bolt action, internal magazine fed, military rifle, invented under the government commission, by Russian and Belgian inventors, and used by the armed forces of the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. The three line rifle, model 1891, its original official designation, was adopted by the Russian military in 1891. When the Soviet Union was invaded by Nazi Germany in 1941, the Mosin Nagant was the standard issue weapon of Soviet troops. As a result, millions of the rifles were produced and used in World War II by the largest mobilized army in history. There have been several variations from the original rifle. The replica we are showing you, is of model 1944 carbine. This model was introduced into service in late 1944 and remained in production until 1955. Okay my friends, uh, the replica is built by Zetalabs. Uh, it is a gas... Blowback? No, it's not blowback. No, it is bolt action gas action replica whatever that means my friends but what it means is that it's powered by green gas and bb's <laughs> so it's not spring operated like most bolt action rifles in airsoft yes my friend. yes Good. okay okay my friends uh, how this replica is built well it is mostly built from wood very good quality and here it is a real steel. Why we know it is real steel? It rusts. Yes, because it was left in a trunk of our car uh, and it got pretty much rusted already. Check this out. Faster. Faster. <laughs> yala, 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 yala. <laughs> Good. So, the wood, the steel uh, and the bayonet is out of plastic. Very unfortunate, my friend. Very unfortunate. Please uh, assemble the bayonet for us. You see, uh, I don't see the point of making it plastic because it's still uh, stiff enough to, you know, cut your eyes out like this. It's very dangerous. So I'd rather if they would, you know, make it steel because it would be same dangerous as it is now, but would look very much better. Yes. Okay. Now, so it 
looks very very good it has even original markings unfortunately for all you uh, second world war ii rena actors uh, this particular rifle was made in 1947 so no nazi shooting unfortunately for you however if you uh, not so keen on these markings it could be it could look okay with a russian uniform from world war ii era but they all had pepeshas so <laughs> either way <laughs> okay my friends uh, like most premium replicas which this i suppose is uh, the replica comes in a, a paper box yes. and uh, like in most premium replicas my friends it has no uh, styrofoam inside just little bits of this uh, white uh, stuff so it's very likely that it will come to you damaged uh, inside the box we also find this a beautiful ceiling which is also like a world war ii style or mosin nagat style pretty pretty cool it looks very very good but it looks uh, very uh, you know not destroyed what i mean it's supposed to look you no know, like it would be worn out a bit but it's not my friends so <laughs> you need to work on it but either way it looks very good with this replica now let's see how this unique construction of bolt action and lean gas mixture works. Okay, my friends, uh, for the testing purpose, we'll be using a airsoft green gas, Zashila blowback, uh, Zavira, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. What's the funny, my friend? Zashila blowback? Yes, yes. Yes, because it's written here in Poland. Yes, because it's a Polish top gas. Very good, my friends. You should buy it. I uh, will be using this. Uh, this is Seed Protect Guns Airsoft Gas. Made especially for high-tech high, uh, high gas blow guns. Yes, my friends, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. Okay, now, to load this, as I previously said, or I did not set, you'll see. You pull the bolt here. You see the standard gas uh, valve. So we put gas in here and we wait. How long we wait? No. Stop. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> the rubber, rubber something here is <laughs> good. Okay. Now it is loaded with uh, gas, so we can close the bolt. It's ready to fire, but it's not has bullets yet. So we open this uh, magazine hatch or something. We pull this yes or yes we pull yes, this bullet. cord yes and then we put some bullets no more than 10 yes? yes then we release the cord and it's supposed to be loaded ready to fire my friends okay let's shoot some infidels yes okay my friends uh, we'll be shooting this infidel there uh, with armos in Naga rifle replica. So it is loaded, it is gassed, and let's see if we can hit the infidel there. Fire! Did he hit you? Yes! Hit! Hit! Beautiful, my friend, beautiful! Excellent, my friend, hit! Bravo! Bravo, bravo! So, this replica shoots and hits infidels. Good, good, good weapon. Ah, infidel test will be supposed to sell us. So it's a little bit Later. Baga, what do you say? Okay, my friends. Yes. Okay, my friends. Uh, unfortunately, we managed to jump uh, the BB inside the chamber here, so we had to take this all out, uh, put the BB out, and now. We didn't bother to, you know, assemble it again, and we're gonna chrono it with only barrel and uh, pot here. Okay, most in custom. You want to try it? Jesus! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Super star. Yeah. 
Okay, my friends. Okay, so, uh, my friends, okay, my friends. Uh, we established that it is not that reliable. Fortunately, it's very, very easy to fix when it uh, jams or breaks down. Yes? How do we fix it? You can see two screws. One here, one pod zamkiem. Yes. Jeśli zamek się zacznie w tylnej pozycji, permanentnie, czyli na przykład kulka dostanie się między dyszę a komorę, yes. 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 to nie da się w ogóle tego odkręcić i praktycznie nie da się tego rozłożyć, nie używając siły. Yes. You, you can, you use your force, yes. yes. Use your force, look. Dwie śruby. And then when you open this thing and you uh, take the inside out, what do you do? You take it back in and it works. Yes. Oh, you see, so. Always has a screwdriver when shooting this replica because you never know when you need it, when you will need it. Yes, my friend. So, it's not that reliable, but it's very easy to fix. So, don't worry. Very good. Okay, my friends. Let's sum up this rifle, this replica of Zeta Labs replica of a Mossy Naga rifle. Well, it is beautifully built, uh, steel parts, even now rusty ones, unfortunate bayonet. So, for your wall, it would look beautiful. Now, if you into some kind of theme shootouts, like, you know, that kind of theme shootouts, or like Stalker theme shootouts, this is beautiful and it looks excellent in such conditions. Yes, my friend? Yes. Yes, yes. And if you want to play a Russian World War II soldier, you just need to cover this 1947 and it also will be looking great in the pictures. Unfortunately, when you want to use it as a regular airsoft weapon, well, we do not recommend this because it's not too reliable. Re reliable. Reliable, yes. So, for the theme replica, a collector's item, yes, pick this one. But if you want it just for shooting, well, you might get really angry fixing it again and again and again. Uh, the replica was kindly supplied by Airsoft Panda Shop. Thank you very much. May the God bless you, my friends, from Airsoft Panda. Yala, yala, yala.